Greetings, gang. Well, here we are. It's the end of the year, and we made it. <laughs> so, I just wanted to wrap up the year and say thank you to all of you guys for hanging out here for a few minutes each day and hopefully learning a few things because God knows I've learned a ton of things from you guys and Mrs. P and I both greatly appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I've been able to pass on a little bit of tips, tricks, knowledge, or whatever ideas to y'all as well. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for your continued support and patronage. Uh, it's what makes this fun, okay? That the fact we all get to hang out together, share ideas, celebrate each other's successes, cry together a little bit when we have losses, you know, such as losing North Shore this year, for example. I know y'all have many options, if you will, to go get information from. Uh, you know, whether it's YouTube, whether it's blogs, whether it's magazines, whether it's whatever, books, you know, you name it. And not all the information agrees with each other. And that's a good thing, okay? I've said this many times. If we all thought the same way and did the same thing, the world would be a real boring place, you know. There's a whole bunch of disparity, if you will, between the way people do things. And that's important, okay? Because, as I've said many times, what works for me may not work for you. And my whole idea has always been to give you an idea to make you think about something and then come up with the solution on your own for what works best for you. That's what a prepper does. Okay, And there's many different ways that people prep based on their circumstances. Okay, you know, If you live in the city you prep completely different than somebody that lives in the suburbs and completely different than somebody that lives out in the sticks, okay? It's just the way it is. And I always laugh when I see some of these blogs or YouTube channels or Facebook posts or whatever that you guys send me about fear porn, about hypesters, about salesmen, uh, that are on any of the different platforms. I mean, the, the one that I laugh at more than anything else is the ones that are off-grid with such and such. Now, there are some channels that are legitimately very close to being off-grid. Doug and Stacy is, is a good example of one, okay? Uh, I mean, hey, you literally build your house and everything that you do is uh, by your own two hands, I'm going to agree. You're about as close as you can be to off-grid. You're not completely off-grid. For I mean, and I'm not saying Doug and Stacy. Uh, Doug and Stacy, I got a lot of respect for. Uh, but, you know, there's plenty of them out there. Oh, you know, off-grid lifestyle with Joe. Great. And Joe will come up and tell you about, you know, turning off the circuit breaker in his house. Okay, that means you're hooked up to the grid. Joe's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> Joe's obviously got internet. <laughs> you know, it's like Joe's talking about his truck. Okay, Joe, you've used gasoline. Guess what? Those are all things that mean you're still on the grid. You may be close to being off grid, but you're not off grid. So, you know. Some of the channels and some of the blogs and things like that I see out there, you know, even there's been a couple of news articles after the, the cold spell we went through last week, you know, about people saying, oh, you need to go to a more off-grid lifestyle so you're not so dependent on it. it, it not easy, okay? For all intents and purposes, not possible. Yeah, there's probably a minuscule 0.00001% of the people in this country that live off-grid, right? Which means they have no electricity, they have no internet, uh, you know, they don't use gas. 
uh, you know, if any, if any of you have ever watched the, uh, TV show Mountain Men, okay? Yeah, those guys, pretty much, okay? You know, Eustace Conway in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Yeah, I'd say he, he can call himself off-grid. Unless you're living that lifestyle, no, okay? You know, it's the same with homesteaders. I am not a homesteader, okay? I... Sorry, okay, I don't have cattle, I don't have chickens, I don't have goats, whatever it is. I've never said I'm a homesteader. There are there are plenty of good channels out there that are. I look at like Roots and Refuge, Refuge Farm. I'd consider them homesteaders. Danny and Wanda, I'd absolutely consider them, them homesteaders. They are extremely self-sufficient, okay? Raise their own food can basically do anything that needs to be done. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of them that, you know, it'd be like me saying I'm a homesteader. I'm not, okay. I'm a prepper. Maybe you could say a prep stetter. I don't know, you know, but whatever. But it's because you decide, based on your circumstances, where you want to be. Okay, what you can do. Am I going to give up having a vehicle? Not if I can help it. Okay. Am I going to give up gardening? No. All right. Am I going to switch the power off from my house, from the grid? No. Okay. Because here's my point. As much as we all prep for SHTF without rule of law, whatever it would be in some of these channels saying, World War III is upon us every day. You turn on a video it's, you know, or open up their web page. World War III has started. Yeah. No, it has not. Okay. We don't know if it's ever going to happen. We are prepared in case something goes wrong, but none of us know when the world is going to go kablooey. We all know it will eventually. Okay. But whether it's tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, next decade, next century, or next millennia, we don't know. All right. There will be a day that God says, enough, we're done. All right. We don't know when. Maybe it may be in our lifetime, it may not. But what I wanted to say is I thank you all for spending a little time with me, trying to listen to a voice of reason learning a few things, but more than anything else, hopefully putting some thoughts in your head of, hey, I didn't think about that. Because you guys put a lot of thoughts in my head of, hey, I didn't think about that. I learn from it. I figure out the solution that will work for me based on the circumstance that y'all had. I always love the the channels that love to go back and bash other channels. And, you know, you guys all know that there's channels out there that like to bash on me, you know. Okay, fine. Do whatever you want. I show everything I do. Yeah, right. Tell me I don't show you guys what I do, all right? Uh, you know, tell me you guys haven't seen how to build stuff, how to garden, whatever it would be. Okay, fine. You know, but when they, when they, when the, they just come out and lie. That, that is extremely humorous to me because I know what it is. And you all do too, okay? They're jealous, green with envy, and you know they always want to get in a war. Ooh, if I get in a war with him, he'll talk about my channel, and then people will come over to watch my channel. Hence the reason you never hear me mention the channels, channel names that do this. I appreciate you guys when you tell me, okay? And I go watch what they have to say. And I laugh at them, and I pity them, and eventually, like any bully, they go away with their tail tucked between their legs. <laughs> you know, I didn't get the response I thought I was going to. <sighs> you know, so, you know, basically what tells me is, you know, they're completely unprepared, and just like the government does, 
rather than bring everybody up, their idea is to bring everybody else down to their level. So, you know, it is. But I know you guys have a choice on who to watch and what to watch. And I greatly appreciate the fact that you spend a little bit of time with me every day. It's good for me. It's good for you, I think. Okay. I mean, pretty simple. If you don't like what I have to say, don't watch. It's not a problem. Okay. You know, take what, take what I give you that's good information that pertains to you and pitch the rest of it. Okay. I mean, if you live on the 82nd floor in New York City, me talking about gardening, probably not going to do you a whole lot of good. Okay. If you don't eat meat, you know, pretty much seeing my recipe on how to make chili, probably not important. Okay. You know, but there's other things that we all find that are good. Just like every channel that I watch, there's some stuff that I agree with. There's some stuff that does not pertain to me. There's some stuff that I flat out disagree with. It's fine. You know, I use crypto as a perfect example. There's a lot of channels that'll tell you a lot of books, a lot of anything, a lot of news articles, a lot of analysts that'll tell you crypto is the future. No, not to me. Okay. You know, we're going to CBDC. I don't believe that. Okay. And we're all entitled to that, which is totally cool. But, you know, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for separating the wheat from the chaff for trying to listen to a different point of view. I try to give you facts as best I can. Y'all know that. Okay. Do I make mistakes? Sure. You know, I mean, stories change. Information that I find turns out to be wrong. Not nearly as much as Congress. Everything they find out is wrong. Okay. You know, I try to sift through the lies that are told to us so we can idea or idea so we can adapt to what is really going on as opposed to what isn't. But keep up the good fight in 2023, guys. I promise to keep doing the same for you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Y'all know if I know it, I'll tell you. If I don't know it, I'll tell you. I don't have all the answers. Never claim to be, never claim to be super prepper. I'm in this just like you guys are. There's things I know that you may not. There's a lot of things you guys know that I don't. Look back last week when I was talking to you guys about getting the bow. The live stream, half the questions were about it. You guys telling me different things to do. So that's called learning. That's called growing. That's called prepping. Okay. Learning new things. The ones who get up there and go, look at me, look at me, this is what I do, you know, this is... I don't care what you had for lunch. You know, if you want to spend a whole channel, a uh, whole 10 minutes, 15 minutes of a video going, look at me, look at me, look at me, and expect everybody to pat you on the back, more power to you. Okay. If you actually want to be part of a community, I think that's what we've got going here. To everybody in this family, Happy New Year. Pinball out.